these days I'm letting God handle all things above me The things I can't change are the reason you love me Hey y'all how you doing how you feeling it's your girl big daddy jen and we are back at again with another video and today it is saturday um it's currently like one o'clock or something um and shout out to my boy dustin because he gave me this wonderful idea to let you guys let my instagram followers control my day pick out my day so I had put some polls earlier this morning to kind of figure out what people decide what they want me to do today. The first one, I'm dressed to go to the gym because I decided to go for a walk or go to the gym. And y'all chose the gym. So here we are. But it is okay. Um, I'm usually not up this late, but I had got home at four in the morning because these past seven days I've been fasting. And one of the things I asked in the fast is to push myself out of my comfort zone. So I've been going to like these prayer meetings and my first ever vigil so i was there from 11 p.m to 4 a.m this morning and it was it was wonderful like it was really great i still am gonna go technically on a little walk because i gotta pass out these like door hangers and flyers for our easter service so that's what i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna check in on the poll later to see what y'all got for me next hold on y'all the birds is chirping the sun is outside like it's giving spring it's giving vibes like y'all it's like four something right now the day is day in so let me just run it down real quick what's been happening so i asked for a uh should i make a smoothie or some tea after the gym y'all said smoothie which is good because i didn't eat all day yet so i have made my smoothie i put uh, a little video of what's in it it's real good and then also i said should i put like a calm cozy fit or a cute outfit so y'all said cute outfit so i'm about to give it to you um i still have to like do my face finish the look whatever but i just wanted to come here and just update y'all on that while i'm drinking my smoothie i'm also gonna be reading my book i asked if i should do some training or do read a book and do a review but i'm gonna do a review later on when i come home because i actually gotta go out to the church and do something real quick um, because tomorrow is Easter Sunday. Um, yeah, the day is day. And I'm sorry, if you start your day after 2 p.m., you was a bum. But all in all, y'all is working me to the bone. So, yeah, I'm giving it to y'all, though. Bye. Oh, when I'm this high. Yeah, yeah. Kane, back in the stool. May your all right, so I'm about to head to the church. Ignore my room, it's a mess right now. It is real simple. I just got this white top on, this long sleeve top with my necklace, um, some green cargo pants. Um, I got my dunks. But I'm, I'm gonna show y'all the full fit when I go outside. All right, so this is the fit. It's giving fake spring because it's a little windy now. The light beat is always gonna do it, okay? But also, y'all, y'all could tell me my any perfume, like I got an extensive perfume collection, but my everyday go-to scent that I've been obsessed with lately is baby cologne with a splash of vanilla. Don't say I didn't tell y'all. It is like literally baby on crack. Like, it's good. <laughs> It is now eight BB. As soon as I'm about Ooh. to uh, it's eight o'clock. I'm actually back home. I went to go pick up the food from Tossed. I know I was supposed to go with my cousin, but she flaked out on me. So instead I went to the church and then I just ordered it to pick up. But yeah, I'm about to tear it up. And then I put a vote a poll whether or not I should catch up and call my friends tonight or should I watch TV and have some solo time. And the solo time won. So actually I'm about to eat, watch some TV a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the book review. So yeah, I'm gonna check y'all later. Even if the poll told me to go make dinner, I was gonna get this food. Cause this right here, y'all, was on my mind for a couple days now and I'm happy. So I wanted to just put you on to my little nighttime routine. Um, So when I'm taking my makeup off, I use witch hazel. I don't do this all the time. I just do it when I remember the toner. And I kept my lashes on because the glue was good. So if I know I'm gonna be wearing lashes the next day, I'm not gonna take them off and put them back on. Oh shoot. 
and then i just put um vitamin c serum for the most part the skin is skinning um i put my little moisturizer it's like the dupe to the CeraV one the up and up if you know you know and then, not all the time i put some retinol this is the CeraV i've been trying to like reduce like baggage underneath my eyes even though i was always born with bags underneath my eyes um i have noticed it that it's been making it a little lighter and yeah let me get y'all in the bed of lighting so y'all can see what is given yeah i had did a poll earlier also um um that asked me to read a book and do a book review honestly i'm tired but um, I have been listening to the audible version of this book. This is my current read right now. I found it in Five Below, but also my cousin read it. For me personally, I have been trying to get back into the reading lifestyle. I feel like I have really bad short-term memory, but like I'll try to read books that I feel like will help me too. I think it's like 130 something pages, 140. So what I'll do is I'll listen to the audible version while I'm like driving, while I'm running errands, so I can still get my daily reading in. So that's what I did today uh, because I didn't really have much time to sit and read. And right now I don't feel like going to bed reading. I wanna watch some TV. This book is called the four agreements is really good it's just like one of those guidebooks that really like you affirm with yourself that you at the end of the day choose how your life is gonna be so whatever you agree to is how you move it just further brings insight on the things that we do on every day that we have subconsciously agreed to from what from where we came from that's conditioned us to be who we are and if you change your agreements with yourself like you can look at life in a different lens and i think this is like a really good book to read i'm only like i think on chapter four it's talked about like don't make assumptions like don't take things personally it's been really good like i highly recommend you guys to read it like i told you i bought mine at five below so um it's a really affordable book and i've just been liking this journey like getting back into reading and just overall um feeding my brain with things that help it that's really my book take on my book review yeah so i'm actually about to hit the hay y'all well not really i might to just um finish the last part of my self-care for the day which is just getting in my bed watching tv eating my second round of the rest of my food um and just chilling because i'm not gonna lie like i'm a person like i don't know how to like i have a hard time spending time with myself and it's been really hard to do so now like even watching tv i don't i always feel like because i don't do enough like i don't deserve to watch tv as well sometimes it's easier said than done like it's a learning journey but i'm starting to really love it here like it is saturday night like i could very much like the way i was looking earlier subconsciously i was like y'all look too good to not be going out on a date or something like that but i still had a good day overall so i think this was a great challenge i really like appreciate y'all my instagram followers just voting on picking on my day pushed me out my comfort zone so yeah make sure to check out all my videos make sure to like comment share subscribe all that stuff that you already know what to do and i will see y'all at the next video